Yo, what is going on, guys? Uh, actually, while I was here tonight, uh, working on a few computers uh, before I ship them out, uh, I actually ran back into the same problem today uh, as I did before with the i7-9700Ks. This has only been happening with the 9700Ks. Uh, I'm not sure what it is or why it's doing this, but it does it with them for some reason. So pretty much the solution, well, let me first show you what happens. Uh, pretty much when you first do a build, brand new build like this, uh, and you boot up, you put in the flash drive, you're ready to install your operating system, uh, you're, you're good to go. Once you get to the loading screen of actually Windows, it shows, you can see right here the three little dots. Um, it gets to the loading screen to actually load up Windows and it doesn't load, it just freezes. So we, from a lot of troubleshooting, I mean, when this first happened to us uh, a while back, it, it happened so much that we were just so frustrated that at the end of it, we changed out GPU, we changed out RAM, we changed out motherboard, we changed out coolers, we changed out case, we changed out power supply, we just changed out everything. And since it was something that was happening so new, there was nothing on it online. Uh, and it was just extremely frustrating. Uh, there was some forums here and there, people saying the same exact thing that they were having the same problems as we were, uh, so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, we switched out the process. We put an 8700K in there, it worked. We put an i9, it worked. We're like, okay, it's gotta be the 9700K. Well, we, all the 9700Ks, uh, I got a, I switched out, the, I switched them out for an 8700K, talked to the clients, they said they were, that was okay. Um, we got that going. Now, after a month of us not ordering 9700Ks, we were like, you know what, let's try it again. So we did. Uh, everything worked out fine for the first like week or so. Uh, and then now, again. so we did some more digging and come to find out someone said on our forums that they actually found a fix for it. It was because it was booting up in legacy mode, uh, the BIOS instead of the UE, UE5 uh, boot up. Or someone said you can do a BIOS update. So we've been getting these MSI Z390 Pro Carbon motherboards. And when I looked at the BIOS versions, they were from 2018. Now we're almost through, of, through with 2019. Uh, this to me personally is kind of something that the manufacturers are messing up on. Personally, you shouldn't have bio, the BIOS that old, especially if it's causing these type of issues. And they probably know about them and they just never updated them. Uh, there's some boards that we've been getting that are fully updated, uh, not through MSI, other, other brands. Uh, and we use a lot of MSI. Me personally, I have an MSI in my, in my, in my build and I love MSI. Uh, but this is just a word for all you manufacturers out there. Please send out motherboards that are up to date. AMD just came out with their new Ryzen series, the 3000. And every single like B450 is now up to date for 3000 mega, uh, for 3000 series uh, CPUs. Uh, so yeah, we need to up our game, Intel uh, or Intel manufacturing. I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, this is not good. If someone were to get this and they had no idea what to do, it would rip their hair out because they'd be moving parts in and out continuously because they can't get the fix done. So anyways, moving on, I already have the, uh, let's go to, we're gonna turn this off real quick. I already have the actual uh, BIOS file on this uh, flash drive with the OS. I went ahead and put it on here because we use this to um, install Windows on a lot of the builds. So we're just going to jump right in here. I'm going to show you how to do this. First, you want to go to the you want to go to the manufacturer's website. So if you have a Gigabyte or Asus or whatever it may be, you want to first go to the manufacturer. Go find their latest BIOS. Uh, and sometimes you have to update one BIOS at a time, depending on, how, depending on the manufacturer. With the MSI Pro Carbon, you don't have to worry about that. You literally just download the latest one and you're good to go. So in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the M Flash, and we're going to, it's going to boot us right back into uh, where we need to be, where we need to be to install the BIOS. Uh, and this is what I love about, this is what I love about building computers is that there's so many things about them. It just, it, out of the 20 years I've been doing this, I always learn something new and I love it. Uh, that's why I always tell people like, you can't really consider yourself the know-it-all of, of everything when it comes to this stuff. Uh, so I already have my file here. I, I labeled it MSI Z390 Pro Carbon BIOS. Uh, I got the file here. Uh, we're gonna hit enter. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna select this file? We're gonna hit yes. And of course, if you guys are doing a BIOS update, please and please make sure <laughs> the power does not go out on you. Because if it does, you can break your motherboard. And that's not a good thing. Uh, also, when I, I gotta go back into the BIOS of this board to change the RPMs on the fans because they are spinning. Let me see here, look. 
Yeah. Yeah, they're spinning pretty high. So I got to go into the BIOS and change that. But other than that, it's actually not not bad. It's just a simple fix here. We got we to fix. I'll put that back in there. All right, so pretty much we're going to leave it updating uh, and we'll be back. We'll be back in a second. We'll show you that, it's, show you that it works. All right, now that we actually have uh, the BIOS installed, it's going to go ahead and do a, a reset real quick. And then once it restarts, see, there it goes. We got the image of the MSI logo going up. And then now we should be able to get past where it freezes or where it was freezing. Let's see here. There it goes. This is where it used to freeze before. And voila, we're in. So let's go ahead and real quick. We're not gonna put in the uh, not gonna put in the key because we don't want you guys to see. We're gonna put. I don't have a key. Pro. And there we go. It's booting. It's perfectly fine. Hit accept. Uh, we'll go to install it onto the M.2. And that's it. So now it's actually going to complete the full installation uh, without it freezing on you. That's literally the fix. Literally the, the simple fix. So make sure your BIOS is up to date. That's it. Or just like I said, just go to the go to the manufacturer's website and download the latest BIOS and that will fix your issue. And like I said, so far, all we've experienced this issue is with 9700 Ks been about eight of them so far. Uh, haven't had any issues with i9s or 8700Ks, but if you do run into this problem, this is going to be your solution. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more tips and tricks coming at you. Um, well, as much as I can because we've been busy here at PowerGPU. Um, but we want to make sure you guys are completely covered on all these issues. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. Also, wait, wait, wait. Make sure to join the Discord as well. We're going to have a lot of information there as well. If you guys have any questions, that's the best place to ask them. Uh, and if you want to place an order for a build or tech support, make sure to go to the website, uh, fill out the form. Uh, we get a lot of people still sending us DMs on Twitter, which I tried to get to them, but there's too many DMs coming in uh, on a daily basis. So make sure to join the Discord or fill out the form on our website. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.